Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a boil test on this Espit solid fuel stove set using Espit, of course. Today I want to try it using an alcohol burner. For those of you that didn't see the other video, I got this at the local Army Navy store. It was shown to me about a year ago. I saw it on a video done by Beast uh, 12101. 12101? Yeah, 12101. And I thought it looked pretty cool. And then when I saw it at the Army Navy store, I figured, oh, what the heck, let's try one. So I made a couple of, I got it, but I made a couple of modifications to it already. One was I added a Velcro strap to it to keep the lid on tight so that I could just pull the whole thing out of the bag in one thing. Plus it also keeps the lid from rattling too much. Just a little Velcro strip you can... Like I showed in the other one, you can use uh, different straps or string or cord, paracord, whatever you wanted. It's a nice little pot here, lid, indent. Another modification I made was I added a, an old cup from one of my Boy Scout kits. It, that way I can make cocoa or whatever, don't have to mess up the pot. Just make it in here, plus this is a measuring cup. This is the burner stove. Nice little thing. Sets on legs. Lots of ventilation to come up through. Ventilation through the top. Now the third modification I made to it was inside this was a little pan that you put your espit in. Riveted into that. I drilled it out. Took it out. Now there's still an indentation there if you wanted to put an espit in there. But by taking that out out, it lets me put a alcohol burner in there lower, otherwise it would be sticking up. Now hopefully it's not too low and I end up having to uh, brace it up. This is one of my old Nivea stoves, it's made out of a Nivea can, has the carbon fiber, carbon fiber felt in there. In the last video I made, I did a run where I tried it, where I have it coiled up, or I have it laying flat. The coiled up version, this version, seems to burn a little faster, so I'm hoping it'll put out more heat. I have 10 milliliters of denatured alcohol that I'm going to put into this now. By doing this, by taking out that pan, now I can either use an alcohol stove burner if I want to, or the espit. I have nothing against espit. It's a nice burning stuff. It does leave a little residue. I don't know if you can see it here, but when I took the pot off yesterday and set it down, there was residue on the bottom of the pot, and it stuck onto the pad here. Uh, alcohol shouldn't do that. Plus, alcohol is a whole lot cheaper. This should be pennies versus, uh, what did I figure, on Espit, on a box like this, for what it cost me, uh, $7.95, that makes it about $0.70 cents for each cube versus pennies for alcohol. I have two cups of water here, setting it at about 60 degrees. Just put that in there. Get the little piece of ice out. Use that to bring down the temperature to get it at about 60 degrees. Let's see where that sets. 60, 61, okay. So I have two cups of water there setting at about 60 degrees. Temperature in the room here is 72, humidity 58. It's sunny and windy outside. Okay, that lights up. Let's put the pot on. And let's see where that goes. Okay, the flames are just about ready to go out. This is kind of discouraging. We're at 10 minutes. 
it ran for 12 minutes when it was outside of the pot, outside of the stand on the 10 milliliters of alcohol. So let's say I'm going to put that down for 11 minutes to run out and the temperature got to 156. Still glowing there. Now let's say 11 minutes. So, don't know what to say about that. I thought this thing, I thought the burner would work better than that. Maybe I need a bigger burner. Huh. Well, I'll try one of my other alcohol burners. I could use something like this. This is an easy alcohol stove to make. That looks like that would fit in there. So I'll recap here. I used a Nivea stove, burner rather, with the carbon felt in it. 10 milliliters of alcohol ran for about 11 minutes and got the water up to 156 degrees. The ESPIT <coughs> Ran out at 16 minutes and got it only up, got it up to 193 degrees. So for a couple of pennies, I at least got it to 156 degrees. I'll have to do more tests with this and see what happens. Um, I'll have to check back on my Lab 72. I used 10 milliliters of alcohol with one cup of water. Maybe that's what I should do: is try this with one cup of water and it came to boil, one cup of water came to boil in eight minutes with a run out of ten. Hmm. Okay, so that's the first test on this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.